Hi there and welcome. In today's presentation, I will be using the four resources model to break down and analyze a topical climate change meme. I hope to demonstrate that the four resources model can be used to break down any text and that using this model to teach comprehension can both align to curriculum and improve students' literacy skills. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students will be a special focus group for the teaching of this conceptual framework. Alan Luke and Peter Freebody developed the four resources model for reading and viewing in an attempt to address the complex nature of teaching comprehension. Their model emphasizes four domains of learning that encapsulate the requirements of an effective reader. These domains, as seen on the slide, are code breaker, meaning maker, text analyzer, and text user. Developing literacy in students means to develop their ability to understand, interpret, and communicate appropriately in varying contexts. Akara further specifies that a literate student can listen, read, speak, write, and create various texts whilst modifying language to adhere to context. The text being deconstructed today relates to the highly charged disposition of climate change. There is a steep divergence on this topic of consequence, and the Australian curriculum has responded to this phenomenon by including a number of climate change topics in the Year 10 science curriculum. This meme encapsulates the divergence from the dominant discourse and reads, isn't it interesting that when the ice on the left melts, continents disappear, but when the ice on the right melts, the water level stays the same. Hmm, it's a lot to unpack. Let's use the four resources model to do this. The first domain of the four resources model to use when dissecting most texts is the codebreaker element. This is used to decipher the exact structure of the words and symbols used in the text and their relationship to one another. One strategy that can be used in this domain is to have students engage in an exclusive brainstorm. Students will ask themselves, why all capital letters? What is BHB and why is it depicted so small? Who is the cartoon girl and why is it such an unflattering representation of her? When teaching climate science and in particular global sea level rise, it is important to show cultural sensitivity to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students who are more likely than other students to have connection to the Torres Strait Islands most affected by rising sea levels, such as Masig Island and Yam Island. Once the encoded components of the text are broken, students will logically progress to the meaning maker domain. This literacy developing concept calls upon the reader's background knowledge, personal and cultural experience, and common sense to make meaning from the text. An effective teaching strategy that will begin to integrate students' ideas while still ensuring that every student has a voice would be the think, pair, share strategy. The intent is for students to understand that the author is rebuffing the legitimacy of sea rise due to climate change. The students will consider the meaning behind the unflattering cartoon representation of Greta Thunberg and how this may link to the BHB logo. They will identify if the caption in the text makes scientific sense and why. This will link well with the curriculum strand ACSHE 191, which is considering the role of science in identifying and explaining the causes of climate change. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students who have had less exposure to science labs and experiments may need to be shown the melting ice experiment either in class or on YouTube. For this text, I am transitioning to the domain of text analysts next because of the suspected bias from the author. The four resources model does not always need to progress in this sequence, and the ideal format is text dependent. Text analysts require students to contemplate how they are being positioned by the author to receive the text, and is there bias or potential alternate readings? The idea of alternate readings is the crux of this task, and adheres to the curriculum, which identifies that science is contestable and refined through the scientific process. Through the experiment in the meaning maker domain, students will come to the realization that the scientific point being made is actually true. Melting icebergs will not raise sea level. However, land ice melting from global warming will. Therefore, there must be a reason that the author is misleading the reader. The intended destination for the students to arrive at is the hypothesis that BHP has authored this text as propaganda to mislead readers and that they have done this in the interests of their own business model. The teaching strategy with the best chance of evoking this thought process 
would be a two versus two debate format. This strategy links to both the curriculum and the eight ways of learning for Aboriginal students, specifically the deconstruct-reconstruct model. This model works by deconstructing a text and reconstructing it through the lens of another reader to generate a new perspective. The final domain of Luke and Freebody's model is text user. This domain asks the students to reflect on how they should use the information they have obtained from this text. Can the author's desired reading of the text be trusted? And how has the text affected the student's views surrounding the issue? Creating a pros and cons list with the whole class would be a great teaching strategy to employ here. Once it is clear to the students that the authors have a conflict of interest with the messaging of the text, they can deem that BHP is an unreliable arbitrator of truth on the issue of climate change. The purpose of teaching literacy to students in all learning pathways in schools is to ensure that they are appropriately prepared to engage in new areas of learning and social discourse. The four resources model was an effective tool in breaking down this text. With its methodical approach, students will be able to break down the encoded text, derive meaning and analyze it before absorbing and using the most justifiable interpretation of the text. Please now go forth and continue to improve the literacy and lives of all students. Thanks.